Hello, my name is Stephanie Oman-Kupitz, and I'm an Engineering Specialist in AICT's Program Development Department. And today, I'm, go I'm with John Anderson, Distinguished Professor of Chemical Engineering and former President at the Illinois Institute of Technology, Paul Johnson, President of Colorado School of Mines, and Eric Kaler, the President of the University of Minnesota. John, Paul, and Eric are the featured speakers in a Meet the President session at the 2016 AICT annual meeting. John, Paul, Eric, welcome. Thank you. So, my first question, as past presidents of distinguished institutions, past and current presidents, can you comment on the current state of engineering in higher education? Well, I think uh, engineering education in general has uh, had an uptick in terms of its reputation and uh, desirability. And enrollments have increased. Students in high school now are more aware of what engineering is than years past. And the uh, engineering is seen not only as a way to get a good job, but as a preparation for many different fields. Yeah, I, I would agree with all those things. I think in, in addition to that, you certainly see universities investing more in their engineering programs. And, and that's an indication of how important they feel they are to the institution, as well as looking for ways of coupling those programs to their business programs, their science programs, and everything else. So engineering is getting to be a more, I think, featured component of universities these days. And it's certainly true that the, the demand for engineering uh, slots in our university is really just skyrocketing both uh, on our Twin Cities campus and on our Duluth campus. Uh, we have, I think, uh, last year 13,000 applications for about 1,000 uh, slots in science and engineering on the Twin Cities campus. Uh, it's a demand uh, that's real. I think it's sustained. Uh, we, as, as well as many other institutions, are investing. Uh, in uh, science and engineering infrastructure, uh, which is expensive and which takes a while to build. But uh, as I said, I think it's a long-term trend, uh, very popular amongst uh, students, uh, not only for the job uh, possibilities, but as my colleagues have said, uh, the broader training uh, that it gives for, uh, for dealing with a career that will have many uh, twists and turns. Well, so given this, this demand and the current state of engineering and academia and industry, where or what changes do you see in engineering education in the near future? Why don't I start? We're going around the other way. You know, I think the changes in education in general uh, around the use of technology, uh, some elements of online learning or blended learning, uh, will really have a prominent role uh, in engineering. So much about being a good engineer is about working with a team. Uh, it's about communicating. It's about being, being organized and effective as you move through a, a sequence of activities. And, those kinds of uh, experiences in the classroom with the faculty member as a coach and a mentor, I think will be more important going forward than the traditional uh, lecture where a, a faculty member uh, says things that students write down. I think that part is going to be uh, less of an emphasis going forward. Yeah. And maybe to add to that, I think the uh, I think there's a couple things going on that are really interesting to sort of follow. One is that a lot of students are sort of motivated to get the degree to be able to go off and do something in the world. They're very interested in, in thematic topics, so energy, health, sustainability, security. Uh, you kind of go down the list, and, and they're looking for how do they sort of get to those things by going to their degree program. So a, a lot of the topics that students have interest in, say robotics, for example, falls at the intersection of a lot of traditional disciplines. So you, you can see uh, a lot of engineering programs trying to figure out how to accommodate the interest from within the traditional structures that they have. And then the other thing that you see going on is, um, I think, helping students develop the big picture earlier on in the program as well, and uh, to have more opportunity to kind of experience rather than sort of self-select into a narrow track real quickly. Yeah, I have to follow up on what President Johnson said too, about the thematic nature and the grand challenges of uh, engineering put forth by the National Academy of Engineering has kind of uh, stimulated certain curricular changes around the country. It's just really impressive, and that was a grassroots effort. And I think students really like to connect their learning to what can happen uh, in way of a positive impact on society. I would also add, that we've always had a challenge in engineering of educating students for the first day after graduation and for the 20th year. And the different skills are required for, for each one. And I think for the 20th year of value, uh, we need to look at general education a little bit more, open up the curriculum a little bit, but not just say take you know three courses in uh, European history and stuff like that, but let students select from a wider variety, especially coursework in uh, let's say understanding uh, the innovative process, something in business, or um, 
entrepreneurship. Uh, some, some of the people want to have opposed me when I said this, that very few people become entrepreneurs, but we all take mathematics and very few of us become mathematicians and they take English and we don't uh, become English majors. So I think some courses in these areas would broaden the perspective of the student and really kick in uh, the play later in their careers. You know, one thing that John mentioned uh, earlier, I think is important to tie back to the reason why engineering is becoming a more popular major, and that's because students nowadays are often uh, highly motivated uh, by solving a problem, whether it's climate change or clean energy or a biomedical problem. Uh, they're motivated and they're interested and they want the set of skills to tackle that particular problem, and that's what engineering gives them. Great. Thank you for your insight, and I look forward to your talks in the week of President session. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.